You see myself, say big up all the artists, them and all the artists, them and people who produce positive, conscious music to reinforce, you see myself, our struggle, the most sacred part of our struggle, which is reparation and repatriation. It can't done, no matter they can't go away, no matter what, no matter how people try to trivialize it, no matter no, nobody no want to pay a week compensation. You see myself, but we have, look, we have to go put things in perspective and know it's a fundamentally there's a legal case for it, yes? And we have to know it's an honor in the memory of our ancestors, yes, those who were made slaves and those who resisted, you know, the Humanization in the face of unimaginable brutality. You see, I said, I remember saying, no, for we ancestors, then we got through that in the name of Jesus and Christianity. So when people are talking about Jesus and Christianity, who overstand from what perspective people are talking from and the involvement, you see, I said, and who involved in the African Holocaust. You see, I said, African people, you know what I mean, were sold and kidnapped. Naturally, as you've been in the history, and it was in the name of Jesus and Christianity, and less, most less other religions too. Yes, and so this is the time again that will come to like every day a time of remembrance a time of repentance, a time of restoration. You see me, yes? British society, you see me, I say, and Christians and all other those involved need to understand their role and their involvement in the old African Holocaust. You see me, I say, and when we see the persistence of racist attitudes, especially in the British society, it is clear evidence that society as a whole has not yet come to terms with dealing with the legacy of slavery. See, remember saying you know, that the Church of England sanctified, you know, I mean, sanctioned it and financed it, etc. The whole slave trade. Plus, when we people remember the plantation owners, you see, I say, eventually they were given compensation for their loss. You see, I say, you have many people who don't believe, sir, I and I as victims should be dealing with compensation, but they seem to be happy knowing that, you see, I say, the slave owners, the slave masters, you see, the church and the plantation owners, they receive compensation. Yes, you know, even for the Africans, it was thrown overboard. You know, much Africans, it was thrown overboard, and people are claiming, you know, loss of profit and claim compensation. Yes. And yet, you know, and yet no one wants to pay we sons and daughters of Africa, of the African Holocaust, reparation, you know, talk about, you know, all these, all we want is money, money, like, and I try to trivialize this thing, yeah. You see what I'm saying? You know, so we really have to wake up in there because I see some people, them is a part of the solution, while some is endeavoring to be a part of the problem. And these people have to know, you have to know, where do you stand in the scheme of things? Yes, it's all about the African emancipation and reparations, repatriations, march, yes, going on annually. You see, man, and people may criticize this and criticize that, but what is doing, but what are you doing? You see, man, sometimes you don't need people always analyzing problems, you know, you need people coming forward with more solutions and getting involved. That's another problem with youth them are happening because the youth them are not seeing the examples. When they're looking to see the example, the way man them are going and the way woman is like it's pure confusion. You see, man, I said the youth them wanting their parents to be the the first role model, so it even the struggle get harder for the youth them now come now. You see, man, I said you know, so a lot of things we're going to have to hold on to and carry on with because nonetheless, Frederick, Frederick Douglass remind me that there is no struggle. Yes, if there's going to be progress, so we don't know. So we have to go and struggle and continue. The struggle will continue. Our will continue. The war struggle will continue. And we they have been a part. Yes, of our only. Liberation of a part of the world struggle. Nobody can finance this. It's me saying. So if you are part of it, you have to give thanks and praises so you get chosen because it's one of the great blessings. It's me saying to part, be a part of something hopeful and to be a part of something sacred. Yes, welcome to the show, the A1 station. Yes, galaxyafui.com. The voice of the people is the voice of Jah. Yeah. 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 So go to the end, thou sluggard, and consider its place. For having no due leader or overseer, the ant, it had no family. The people's cup is filled and running over, running over, running over. The people's cup is filled and running over, and them just can't take it. இசையோடு எமது இசையையும் இணைத்து மிருதங்கத்தை உங்களுக்கு தந்திருக்கின்றேன் 
ஆப்பிரிக்கனுடைய இசையை நாமும் இணைந்து மகிழ்வோம் இங்கே ஒரு முறை ஓக் லாய்கன் ஆப்பிரிக்கனாக நாங்களும் இணைவோம் தேங்க்யூ திஸ் இஸ் திலீபன் Ladies and gentlemen introduce to you princess Jazzy and I papa live I for the mic I speak okay marvelous it is Jazzy walk back like african talk back like african chant back like african true bomb champion walk back like african talk back like african chant back like african true bomb champion return to the motherland too long too long changes have to come africans who have never been home time to leave this your babylon can't you see what's going on get out of the so called rut even if you have been living a hut while you build your house on your own land so slavery days was not in vain return to the motherland return jazzy me no way i speak to make the poor us sweet jazzy walk like an african talk like an african chant like an african true born champion walk like an african talk like an african chant like an african true born champion from africa go down to the west indy the real jaja land take me my man daddy and who them no kill them put in a slavery my four mother verse feed feed them picnic my four father and walk like donkey treat you worse than a dog would that treat them puppy brainwash the whole away for make me fool nobody before we unite for fight get the real enemy we are waste time of pop style Like Yankee, the man, the man, the girl, them just a chase a fanatic. We go to a tablet, plus a leather set it. Not to mention DVD and flat screen TV. We should have walked like an African, talked like an African, chant like an African. Taking off the living legend, Papa Levi, alongside us with the Empress, Empress Jazzy. Walk like an African. In Africa, you can live like kings and queens. Be at one with nature, see the beauty beyond your dreams. But you're quick to forget, quick to pull the trigger. Caught in the plan while the plan is a nigger. Dishing out the ammo, nigger kill the nigger. Don't be the nigger with no brain. That Reparations, repatriations, where do you stand? That says it's nothing to do with me. You know the ones that ain't got no time to talk about slavery. That's the be like the Jews, speak loud. Walk like an African, talk like an African, chant like an African, true born champion. Walk like an African, talk like an African, chant like an African, true born champion. Life on the joke, I was serious. Marvelous it is. Africa be in a no time wasting. Every second that we spend years in a loafing. More I will be convicted by the system. All over the world, the wicked are promoting. The whole world, they need a spiritual healing. Love me, God, me love me, people, and the color of my skin. A full time now, we fit do the right thing. Walk like an African. Pick up on the Harmonizing the original Power Boy Jang and the original Marvelous like Empress Jazik. We say Walter well, every time Empress passed away in the ancestral realm, passed away in the Gambia. The real Jaja land take me my man daddy And who them no kill them put in a slavery My four mother breast feed for them pick me My four father and walk like donkey Give the water that a dog would a treat them puppy Brainwash Album title, lyrics, tricks and politics Legendary Papa Levi I get one request for one special track from my younger time We say all I tell Marvelous and the whole of the Augustus family So me I say we say all type Papa Levi Let's keep up the good works every time The track title, what if, what if, what if We never go to sleep in the Holocaust. Nice composition. Taking this track before me bring him a guest. What if Africa was truly liberated? What if the word Africa never meant separated? What if every African man and woman realized them power? Can you know us and all? Is the Iowa. More than that. What if we never get shot on a ship and we back get 1,000 with blood drip? What if Africa was not invaded by the straight nose man with no lip? What if we dash with it, them British and flush the whole light down the toilet? And what if none of we did sell out we won we would have a better relationship? And what if them never like me up in a chains and sell me like a pack of biscuit? And what if did even get half of the money for all of the cotton where we pick? They say, what if niggas realize them for a mass of body, them would have top kiss? And what if all black support gave a man, you know where him attack is legit? And what if black woman did never create, no other nation would ever exist? And what if slavery did never take place, the world must would have better than this? And what if niggas start think with them brain and tap use them damn penis? And what if we stop all the bad mind business and cut out the foolishness? And what if the bag of shit, we push it down in a pit 
did a blow. In a dem heart, they could be just abuse. Violence and the whip made the dead before they left the slave ship. Wicked a wicked, a hypocrite a hypocrite. Me nah no time for chat the bag of bullshit. Truth for talk, reality it a fi kick. Chris Columbus was a thief in shit. Move your long clothes and your stiff upper lip. History, it no what jai shit. The amount of lies could pull a zillion skip. Bucking James in a face a go and spit. Pull him neck one time and slip. Got the shit just like a fish without. I'm a ray, man couldn't exist. Watch the world in a big crisis. Car we can't get no justice. But we must, but we must first. It's plenty, and we have been dead for this. Plenty, and we have got dead for this. Can't say why they can't kind of be out of your friend. Blood thicker than water. That me a defend. Marcus Garvey, Balcom X, tell them come together for this year. Come on, your children. But from the ghetto youths that want this link. Hey. Run to the rack of them self. They might hey. lose all respect for them. Bring drink them. Gun and drugs, you wicked youths. They kill your children. They say, what if? We never get shook on a ship and we back get 1,000 with blood drip. What if Africa was not invaded by the straight nose man with no lip? Me say, what if them dash with it, them bridge and flush the whole light down the toilet? Me say, what if none of we did sell out, we won, we would have a better relationship? Me say, what if they never line me up in a chains and sell me like a pack of biscuits? Me say, what if we didn't even get half of the money for all of the cotton where we pick? Papa Levi, what if? Come to the live and direct and say special greetings. Welcome to the show. Local artists, them international artists, them enough music will come via the post. Yes, and we're going to endeavor to touch up, touch up, touch up. Enough for the music, them that'll come to the post. Yes, Papa Levi, take up a tough album. Definitely one for having your archives. Where it name it, name is all about the tricks, it's all about the lyrics, it's all about the politics. Yes, legendary Papa Levi. Go and keep up them good works in your neighborhood. Yes, London City, we say special greetings. Welcome to the vibration. Every time I yes over there, we have a guest in the studio this evening. It's my first show this evening so with us a warm up get me bearings and i'll show you how we you you know each show is designed to complement the other show you don't find no show the same every show different every show lacking for one another promote yes and complement for the purpose of harmony the whole objective is harmony lacking to the station i am because we are because we are therefore i am i yes i am genesis coach some know me as coach genesis welcome to the vibration every time the only deep brain washing station yes in the universe here goes so right now this moment in time i do want to say special Special greetings to my guests. It's always a pleasure when we get some live in the house. Yes, a part of the world liberation. Yes, Honorable Dr. Atur Yahushafad. Welcome, my virgin. Welcome to Galaxy, the Big G. Well, last time we meet the man for a different station. It's nice to meet the man for the Big G, the station every time. Welcome to the show. Yes, Honorable Brother. Yes, loving brother Yahushafad. Welcome, King. Peace and blessings, Brother Kush, and to the management of Galaxy Radio. Peace and blessings to all the family. Yes, my brother, give thanks. And you know, folks, you know, right now, we didn't everything, the most serious thing upon the African agenda for us as a people, whether people like it or not, is the reparation, repatriation. Yes, and we have another. And you know, there's many, many groups, you know, everybody's, you know, doing what they can. You see, I say, and then that we have to look on. Sometimes people expect everybody to do the same thing one time, just like people expect sometimes everybody to be the same. But if person have to know, you know, in life, what is their struggle, what is their cause? And what them for do. You see me I say so we always give thanks and praise where no matter how somebody do different from another group, you see me I say you do your part towards the wall and the solution, yes. So we give thanks and praise and you know, myself, you know, um remember uh, meeting this person and going to attend a, a, a nice what I call seminar also, yes, with a nice panel and I want to big up Dr. Les, also yes, honorable sister, the Queen, yes, African Queen, Queen Esther, yes, and you know, people who depend on the front line, yes, of the world African liberation shall struggle from that time to know and, and, and and make you know make an effective change and again you know people who are doing things against all odds is what i say and it's because you know they are being chosen these are people who are being divinely chosen for your mission and again you know like the elder we ever understood the doctor to yahusha fat again you see me i say you know and we cannot give thanks because you know sometimes it's a good thing people don't judge by appearance because you have so much humble great souls amongst people you know but when them start talking you realize say, whoa it's a death so we give thanks but even for the benefit of our listeners, you know, um, Yahushafat, just briefly, just tell us and our listeners a little bit about who is Dr. Toyahushafat. Thank you very much, Brother Kush. Um, if you'll allow me first, I'd like to give all honor and praises to the God of Africa, to the God of the Genesis creation, the God that is mentioned in the Bible. And I would like to just tie the three together because the God that is mentioned in the Bible is not the same God religion gave to us through our captivity. Uh, definitely two different sources of strength and energy. 
So we're talking about the God of the source, the God of truth, the God of oneness, the God of wholeness, the God that generated life. And I, when I was coming, I was listening to a track you were playing where it spoke about we as a people actually, and I would say, um, have got sidetracked via religion because we were never a religious people. We've always been a spiritual people. But that's for another presentation. But I'd like to give all honor and praise to this source of life, to my anointed leader, Lord and Savior, His Excellency Ben-Ami, Ben-Israel of the Hebrew Israelites of Jerusalem, mostly based in Northeast Africa, Dimona, and the surrounding townships, to His government, Holy Princeton, Divine Ministers, Crown Brothers and Sisters, to all the saints of the kingdom of Yah, and also to all men and women on the face of this earth who know, who know that this civilization of deception has to go, but who understand it's not going to go without a righteous, holy agitation and the building of an infrastructure. I greet each and every one of you in perfect peace and love. Uh, my name is Artur Dr. Yehoshaphat ben Israel. I am a citizen of the Hebrew Israelite community of Dimona under the leadership of Ben Ami. I carry so many portfolios as being given by and raised by our fathers. First, I am a member of the cabinet. I'm a crown brother, member of the cabinet of the government of the Hebrew Israelite community. I'm part of the leadership of the UK jurisdiction. I'm also part of the Holy Jerusalem Scholarship Body. I'm the director of the Institute for Divine uh, the Institute for New Humanity, and also an, the Institute for Regenerative Truth. And finally, I work internationally with a diplomatic organization in Berlin, the Institute for Cultural Diplomacy, and I'm the head of the Experience Africa program. So it's a lot, but again, at this particular time, we do have to wear those hats because we do have to create those institutions, those leadership, and again, as... Brother Kush, in the, one of the tracks, said, provide the role models that our children would not be stabbing in the vacuum as to where they go. So I am, in the words or the crafting of the Hebrew Israelites, I'm fashioned as a servant leader. I'm a servant unto the cause of my people, not a boss, but one who should work tirely. And my great joy is when my service causes the positive onward and upward transformation of our people and restoration to who they are, not who somebody says they're supposed to be. Give thanks and praises. <clears throat> and, and, and therefore, because of that, Yahushua, tell us about the kind of work you're involved in. I work primarily and much more focused to the restoration of the African humanity back onto its original status. That is the totality of my agitation, my struggle, which means that first we've got to concentrate and consolidate Africa and repair Africa, the continent and its institutions again. That is the basis of our entire expression. That is our optimum liberation struggle. It involves land, language and culture. But when I speak of Africa, I'm not speaking of a country. I'm speaking of the continent stretching all the way to through to northeast Africa, which would go all the way to the Euphrates in Iraq. We also include the great African family in the diaspora because they are part of the great African family on the continent. Um, when they did come over, as history and destiny proves, they did not take slaves off from the African continent. They took scientists, they took mathematicians, they took jurisprudence, they yes. took leaders, they yes. took agriculturists, they took botanists, they took herbalists, they took musicians. They took talented minds mm -hmm. to build a world. They could not have built the empires with dumb minds. Mm -hmm. So someone continually painting a picture of people of Africa being savages and monkeys is totally incorrect. We see the result of what they've built in oppression, so we definitely know the result of what they will build out of oppression and their optimum. But my total breath and life is to serve, participate, engage, build bridges, which would transform the African reality, and then from the African reality, know that another kind of leadership will be put in place that will transform this degenerate and dysfunctional civilization that continually takes all humanity into destruction. Mm. We give thanks. You're lucky today, one station. Yes, words, sound, power. Yes, and like we say, it's all about where do you stand? Are you a part of the solution? 
or you are part of the problem. You know, it's all about reparations, repatriation, and like I said before, many groups are doing their part and doing their involvement. You know, Dr. Arthur, um tell us a little about, you know, reparations and, and, and why that whole struggle is so significant to you as an individual, much less as a person or as part of a nation. Well, first, we've got to look at our history. And when I, when I say look at our history, most of our history has been deliberately taken away from us. And I'm saying this because, just like the Honorable Marcus Garvey said, that a people without knowledge of their history is like a tree without roots. Mm -hmm. Our present predicament is all tied to our history, where we've come. Whether we, it's a legacy from our fathers, our mothers, but where we are now is based on decisions that our fathers, our ancestors made and has brought us to this phase. I'm going to talk a little more controversial, but provocative, proactively. Mm -hmm. We've got to, at a certain point, divert or redirect our energy from what the other nations are doing to us. We have fought that struggle, and they're going to maintain who they are and what they do. But if we are seeking justice, we have got to construct the environment of justice and take ownership of where we are and begin to find our potential building going forward. I'm not saying this as an academic thing. I was going to say, yeah, yeah, you know, break that down. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm not saying this as an academic thing, but the Hebrew Israelite community left the United States of America and many of the islands in the 60s. Mm -hmm. They left what people call was the struggle. But today, we can see a very, very proactive and solid institution building and sense of nationhood within the remnant that were taken away and returned to the continent of Africa. Mm -hmm. Against all odds, mm -hmm. when we were, when our backs were against the wall, even without the money coming, yes. we were able to do the things for our survival and then find the great joy in what we could produce mm -hmm. when we began to provide solutions to our predicament. Mm -hmm. We're continually asking institutions to provide solutions to our predicament but when we read history they were for some reason a rod of correction they do not have it in their creative genius the way to repair our predicament if they did they would have been doing it for us now but after 400 years and counting we still face ourselves at the bottom of the back bucket ignored and disrespected by those individuals so at some point we have to bridge into what mind do we have and what can we do for ourselves and when we look at what we can do for ourselves we don't have to look far as we look even in the midst of our people in pockets we find phenomenal potential phenomenal potential let me give an example mm -hmm. just at this particular time as we're speaking the richest man wealth wise and it's not all about money mm -hmm. but the richest man wealth wise on the continent of africa is not the oppenheimers who govern all the mines and the real estate in south africa it's a nigerian dankoti the richest woman black woman in the world is not oprah winfrey it's a nigerian Four Nigerian daughters, four Nigerian daughters, 15 and 314, developed and designed a generator that uses urine to power up e um, energy for six hours. We have those minds in our midst, but we have got to bridge that potential to create another reality. Ghana right now is at the verge of producing a car, cars. Yes. So we, we've got to look with another perspective. What can we do? And if we look in the midst of ourselves, it's not just a Hussein Bolt and others. We have minds in different scopes. Even the computer that we use today. Three of the original patents which put the computer was by somebody of African heritage. Mm -hmm. So what is the loss? Mm -hmm. What is the loss? But somewhere in our midst, we are being made to feel and we have taken, we have taken that perception that without somebody, we can't do anything. Mm -hmm. And that has been the most damaging mm -hmm. thing that has happened to us. Mm -hmm. Let me share this really humbly with yes, you. Yes. You see, when we left the continent of Africa, when we were kidnapped, stolen from the continent of Africa, whichever way you want to read it in history, the greatest thing that happened to us was the damage of our mind. Mm. We, left, we left the most richest real estate and stable land on the whole planet. You've got to understand, even today, the amount of wealth after 400 years of exploitation in Africa is still phenomenal. Mm -hmm. 
So it can't be about finance and pounds. It would have to be about a mind that can reorganize properly the remaining potential that is in the land and build a civilization that will be just and truth-based. Gaddafi was just at the point with 4.5 tons of gold, mm -hmm. nearly 270 trillion, to reconstruct an African currency which would have cut us off the tail coats of America and the IMF. And then they invaded. Gaddafi provided $300 million to provide a satellite that now is cheaper mm. to call from a mobile phone from Africa to London than it is to call from London to Africa. Mm -hmm. We have a record of all these minds in our midst. But the media will continually make us feel that we have not got the ability so the first thing we've got to know was that damage mm -hmm. was to our minds. Mm -hmm. And even today, the damage is still to our minds. We're not naive about what pounds and euros and dollars can do. But if you don't have financial literacy, mm -hmm. giving you money will not solve your predicament. Yes, yes, yes. We need the original African mind. Mm -hmm. Brother Kush, yes. we have the American mind. Mm -hmm. We have the Oxford British mind. We have the Catholic mind. We have the Anglican mind. We have all the different minds, the German mind, the Portuguese mind, the French mind. But we have lost the African mind. Mm -hmm. And somewhere we've got to know that the African mind is much more potential and optimum than just beating drums mm -hmm. and wearing dashikis. Mm -hmm. And we have got to connect because something stopped in our development. And it has stopped for the last 500 years. We have got to reconnect and then move upward with that creative genius. The Lewis Ham Hamiltons and the Michael Jordans and those are just microcosms of what that great element has the ability to do against all odds. And like you said, I am because you are. And because you are, I am. Each one teach one. If we began that commonality again, mm -hmm. we will build the strength of learning from one another because we are really all a part of one another. The concept of the creator was wholeness and oneness. We all represented parts of the puzzle. And if we respected and valued one another, we won't have to look outside. Mm -hmm. If you shut down the African continent for seven days, all the stock markets in the world will crash. They will crash. Yeah. That is a fact. Mm -hmm. After 400 years of exploiting Africa, they still are struggling with the economies. So something we've got to go. It can't be. We're not naive about money. But what would you do with a great mind? You will do much more than somebody just giving you some money. So that has its place. But one of the greatest damages, even to this day, 2016, has been first our mind and then the element of ourself, our spiritual, not religious connection. Because your spiritual connection empowers and strengthens who you are. Serious word, Son Paul. You know, you're locked into the big G, you know, you're locked into the big G every time. Yes, Genesis Coach, we're there. Like my guest, honorable guest of the studio, passionate. Yes, as you don't know, yes, selected and chosen divinely. Yes, Dr. Otto, Yahushua Fat Ben Israel. And again, it's all about the reparations, repatriations. Where do you stand? If you want to text, you can text us on 074 9853 8784. For any concerns, any clarification, any information, you can also. I think there's a phone number somewhere. I don't see it, but we're going to get that clarified shortly. Nonetheless, uh, yes, yeah, the phone number them is uh, 074381543511. Uh, you can catch us on 0754850 So that's 0743815431. Or zero seven five four eight five zero eight six eight four. Those are telephone numbers. Text line for any text is zero seven four nine eight five three eight seven eight four. 
you know and again you know it's very important that people lock in you know because sometimes we have to take stuff of the music and take in education and even when we talk about reparation and repatriation Tell us, you know, from your view, my virgin, because you know the educate, you know the edu- the, 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 the the preparing for that. How does the one prepare for that? You know, because I know even time if the first, the first one, the first conference, you have no reparations, you know, no repatriation. Um, again, you know, at a time when young people are listening, young people are wondering why should they get involved? What is the significance of them getting involved? Just you know, just just give us in a, in in a, in a nutshell without going too deep. Why you know, young people, women, the significance of what it means and how to prepare. Because many people hear the saying, "Them take the change, they use the brains," and it's emancipation. And people are not too sure what they. It seems as if for some reason people are still very much confused about solutions. You know, to go forward. You know, we're having a reparations march coming on again now. Um, people ask, you know, have ifs and buts, why and if they should get involved, and you know. So you know, and again, we know that people realize things at different times in their life. Things people didn't realize last year about the march. I realized, and now people are gradually seeking, trying to learn. You know, and you know, we do have, like I said, there is various things going on with certain groups. And we want the people, you know, to log in on the net and find information, check out what you have to check out. You see, message because these last days, and what we call Anya so is, you know, if you don't see the signs of what's going to happen, because a lot of we as Africans and people in the Babylon system are not good for we again. It's a message enough for we're done. And if we don't we'll overstand because God is God, we show us that our people without vision will perish. We're having problems with our leadership. It's a message because it seems as if all the shepherds them gonna sleep. And if the shepherds them gonna sleep, no wonder the flock them gonna stray. You see message. So there's a whole other thing we have to look upon and analyze. And in a time now where there is the call, there is the march onto parliament. It's a message. Can we come together? Do we understand the significance of coming together? Many of us are thinking this is just something that relates to the past. That's why we got to be black certain significant songs to make you understand. So already he's talking about things that may have happened in the past that still affects us today. You know, elaborate, look at me upon us, Bridging, some of the negative legacies, again, to, for people to understand the significance of why the African Holocaust is totally different from any other slavery that go on upon the planet Earth. Well, <clears throat> Brother Kush, we have to realize that the greatest classical experimentation on a people where every element that made them human was stripped from them was what we experienced as a people. Whatever has happened to other communities upon the face of the earth is not comparable. I will not even use the word Holocaust as very terrible and damning as it is. Mm-hmm. But I will use the word Holocaust. Mm-hmm. Because to be stripped from a land, to be put in a dungeon, awaiting a slave ship, and to survive that, to go through the door of no return, knowing that you will never see your people again, To be put in a ship for three to four months in the pit of the ship and then to get on the other side to be broken and after you're broken to work from sun up to sundown and then survive. Physically, that is a miracle. But mentally, the trauma that you go through and Professor Joy The guy has the book, The Post-Traumatic Slave Syndrome. The trauma that you go through in your mind. The cumulative effects of that neuroplasticity to your own cells. And it being transmitted, that fear, that fright, that horror through your generations of you being depreciated has an effect that To this day, one, we have lost our self-esteem. We hardly trust one another. Even though the cause may be good, we can trust the oppressor, but we can't even trust one another. Because we look at one another 
through the mindset and the thought patterns of either a damaged mind or the academic constructed perspectives the oppressor has given us. In conclusion, we've lost our soul. When you look at the homicides, the failing businesses, the diseases, you realize that at every strata of contemporary society, if we're not at the bottom, we are close to the bottom. And Brother Kush, in the 21st century, yes, sir. we are not even a footnote in global discussions of anything progressive or regenerative to our predicament. We are not even a footnote. Would people know that the United Nations has declared the decade for people of African descent? And we have hardly seen anything take place in any European country or possibly even in African countries that acknowledges the decade. I was over in Amsterdam for a conference on this subject matter. Only one Dutch politician came over there. And he said quite categorically, none of them were going to even participate in it. Now, you ask, why does it matter? Well, for health. If you remove Dr. Lila Africa and Dr. Sebi and a few of them, our NHSs yes. provide supposedly with your best intent, hmm. the same run of the mill drugs that continually, in some cases, are not the best for our people. If, and bear with me a moment, since it's live, if for over nearly 27 years and counting, they lied about the deaths of those who died in Hillsborough, they lied about what happened to Stephen Lawrence. Do you really think that they would give us a knowledge base or an understanding of what really happened to us for the last four to five hundred years? So it is imperative looking forward that none of the development plans for humanity involves us. In fact, everything that is to strengthen us from Gaddafi to what happened in Ivory Coast to Tom and Sankara, everything that rallies to strengthen us is being cut down. And if we can't read the handwriting on the wall, and especially our young ones coming, you can definitely count that it won't be slavery will be factored out of humanity. That is why, not as a fear factor, but as a, st as a stark reality, we have got to re-engage not just the racism, but what is our predicament moving forward. And we have also got to come to the blunt reality that after so long, nearly five centuries, the basic things that have affected us downwards Either the European family of nations, that includes Australia, America, Canada, and the whole of Europe. Either they don't know how to solve our problems and our predicaments. Or they cannot solve our problems and our predicaments. Brother Kush. Either way, I tell you. after 500 years, it leaves us with no choice. Mm -hmm. Than to take our destiny into our own hands. In our own hands. A true man. How much more worse mm. can we do mm -hmm. than what they've done for 500 years? Mm. Not true. If you went to a doctor for 500 years with an illness mm -mm. and you kept on getting sick and sick and sick, mm. common earth sense should tell you mm. that there's something wrong with the doctor. Yes. Brother Kush, let me close like this. Mm -hmm. We've changed nearly everything. Most of our people can't even speak an African language. Mm. Don't know where they are from Africa. We are more English than the English. We are more Catholic than the Catholic. 
We've nearly everything. We've changed our diet. Mm -hmm. We even on St. Patrick's Day are Irish drinking Guinness. And we're still locked in a predicament which is the tail. I would say, Brother Kush, there's only one thing that we haven't changed in this predicament. And the one thing is, when I look, we still have the same master. The same influence. Well, we've changed everything and it it hasn't changed our predicament. So in repair, what would we lose if we change the master? Mm -mm. And take the creator, not religion, and his truth as the rallying point of a new master. What would we lose? Let's give it a try. Mm. The demon experiment was we changed masters. And we can now see we are moving from the tail in ascension to the head. We are respected wherever we go. I just told you I'm the head mm. of an institution which is not even African based. Yes. But the intelligence. I spoke at the House of Lords six weeks ago, a seven minute presentation. Mm -hmm. But it's another mind. Mm. Not afraid to express who it is what it has to say on its terms. But I'm not the greatest of our people. Mm. There are many greater than us. I am just an ensign of what we, our people, can do when we restore confidence and we put our energies into repairing the damage of our minds. Mm. World song pouring luck into the big one. It's Big G. Yes, originally Genesis Kush were there. Yes, with Ellen and the steward, Dr. Arturo, Arturo Yahusha Fat Ben Israel. We give thanks. It's, amazing. it's all about accessibility, having accessibility to the elders, them, to the scholars, them, so that we know what's going on. Because it's information. Everything is about information, education, stimulation, and that people are able to emancipate themselves for mental slavery. Okay, you hear the elder shows it in the day coming like a wonderful girl. Voluntarily free themselves. Voluntarily Lego isms, voluntary Lego folly. You see message, you have to go free yourself, free your mind, emancipate yourself through relevant knowledge, relevant e education, and then therefore true right conduct. We have the laws of my art there to guide me and show the way right thought, right action. You know, and even though people may look on things in life and say, boy, I say, look, as if no matter what, it looks like it's total destruction that's going on. Sometimes people must remember that we still have the power to can change the direction things are moving, and when it even though when it looks disastrous. Wouldn't you say so, Yahushaphat? Absolutely. Absolutely. Because you find out that sometimes people say they're waiting for a miracle. Wouldn't you say that the, the, the people who are waiting for a miracle, they themselves could become that miracle and be that miracle? Well, <laughs> Brother Kush, when you go back to the African language, a miracle is just unexplained natural law. Mm -hmm. We created, we are a miracle in ourselves. Just the fact that we survived mm -hmm. the Holocaust, mm -hmm. we are a miracle. Mm -hmm. just, as, just the fact that we survived the Tuskegee Tus Tus experiment, experiment. Yes. we are a miracle. Yes. Just the fact that we survived family planning en masse, mm -hmm. we are a miracle. Mm -hmm. Just the fact that we survived structural adjustment program in Africa, we are a miracle. Just the fact that we survived when many of those visionaries were cut down, the Nkrumahs, mm. the Malcolms, the Martins, the Marcus, and we still kept on. The Harriet Tubmans, the mm. Sojourner Truth, we are a miracle. Mm. We are a true miracle because what we faced as a people... No other people have a history hmm. of what we've gone through and still we rise. A true, a true and man. still we rise. A true. Just the fact that Genesis Radio hmm. as an institution still is constantly hmm. helping in the transformation of our people against the odds. Hmm. It's a miracle. Hmm. Every day a black man and a black woman wake up to feed their family. It's a miracle. Hmm. What other miracle would you, are you expecting? Mm -hmm. We were the miracle in the Genesis and we're still a miracle all the way to the revelations and beyond. Mm -hmm. What other miracle are you expecting? Mm -hmm. Clouds to fall out of the sky? We are the world's greatest miracle. And it, uh, it did not start and end with Obama becoming the president of the United States. Mm -hmm. We were a miracle on the continent through the slave ships and we still are a miracle. But now we've got to become a miracle for the whole world mm -hmm. because the stone that those builders rejected is undoubtedly mm -hmm. the stability mm -hmm. to become the head cornerstone yes, and that's friend. not that is not religious yes, yes. that is the only stability mm -hmm. 
that the world is lacking. Mm-hmm. It's all about reparations. I want to say special greetings and welcome for lockdown. You're tuning, you're tuning to Galaxy of Fuid.com. Yes, Galaxy Radio 102.5. Yours truly with there. Yes, first show. Yes, upon the big mothership. Yes, um... Mr. David we get in this to the about reparations, repatriation, get involved, you know, get the information, you know, because them thing yeah, you know, the time I will come with people are gonna wish that they were a part of something good and positive. You see me I say, you know, um, yeah, I wish you for, is, is there a meeting coming up? Is there is there something happening where people can maybe attend if possible and take in and gather more information? Yes, there is. Um on the first of May, which is this coming Sunday, in Brixton at the Caribou education center which i think is seven gresham road Mm -hmm. from two o'clock to five o'clock it may most probably will stretch till six but starts at two we'll be having the part two Mm -hmm. of this event the fifth annual benami lecture part two the part one was done at south bank university yes and this is no true reparations without repatriation this the second one Mm -hmm. the discussion is more than you just coming to hear something the discussion is to do the networking and to get you to get involved if you are serious or interested to get you to understand like brother kush you said there are many groups doing something towards the repair so at least you're doing something you become part of the solution we have what we have done in northeastern africa and in ghana we are now setting up a restoration village and in south africa a restoration village but there are many others doing a lot of things. But to get you aware that these things are happening, both the repair of the mind, but the significance of what land plays in the making of human esteem and mentality. You cannot go or factor out land in any stability of any human being. In this country, you call it a mortgage. But it's still based on land. In nation states, you call it nationality. But there is something about land. You cannot have land without language and culture. And you can't have land, language, and culture of your own without something which will cause the restoration of your mind. Because your, mi- your land, language, and culture reflect something of a continuity of the minds of your ancestors and the great potential intelligence that they had. Mm-hmm. Yes, there is corruption in Africa. Yes, there is dysfunctioning in Africa. But all Africa is not corrupt mm-hmm. and all Africa is not dysfunctional. <laughs> so, yes. so, so just like any creation, it has its environment which mm-hmm. strengthens it. A shark is a terrible creature Mm -hmm. in the water but when you take a shark out of water and you put it on the pavement Mm -hmm. it loses its strength Mm -hmm. what about the african Mm -hmm. whether you accept that you're an african or you're black you were taken from a particular land you may not want to go there and live but it is still the historical land which exudes strength to your element Mm -hmm. Make contact with it again. Hmm. Ask those who've been to Gambia. Hmm. Ask those who've been to Ghana. Ask those who've been to Senegal. And see the strength of inspiration when they come back. They walk different. Hmm. They talk different. (laughs) They think different. Hmm. Because they see another reality. And they see that reality as more visionary hope than the oppression which they are under. Just briefly before we seal up, you know, you know um, yeah, brother Yashufa, I want you to just explain just the, the, again for the benefit of our listeners information again. You know, I find, I find it quite interesting when I find, attended the first seminar, and you, you had also had the term rematriation as opposed to repatriation. You know, just slightly elaborate on the difference there, so what's going on in that in, in that significance. I may make a mistake on this because oh. this is from our great scholar, okay. um, Esther Stanford. Okay. As we understand that words have power yes. in being able to control the land. Mm-hmm. So to repatriate yes. would just be to go back to the land. Mm-hmm. To rematriate, if uh, I'm right, yes. from matriarch is not to go back to the land, but to be involved in the spirit and the nature of the land. Mm-hmm. To become one with the essence of the land and what it expresses and represents. Mm -hmm. Because we have to close the gaps and the margins of errors. Because it's all going back to a mind that was damaged. Mm -hmm. We cannot use a lot of the semantics and the concepts 
from the oppressor mm. in defining and crafting our history much more our destiny so some of the words in as much as we speak mm. in a european language the concept or the understanding has got to be locked tight so that our minds are focused on the right indexes which will strengthen us as a people mm. so rematriate we have the things of the um rather than saying the slave trade they have another definition but all these speak to an african reality yes, yes. an african reality mm -hmm. and we have to keep that in context because the medicine that will repair us has got to be african truth-centered mm -hmm. nobody else can give us no other medicine except that which is african truth-centered and regenerative to a greater sense of who we are as a people mm -hmm. and again i say Maybe everybody may not go there. But one thing, the only repair to our mind is to look back to first our source of spirituality, mm -hmm. not religion. Yes. The source. Mm -hmm. The source. Brother Kush, yes. if you may bear with me. Yes. The European has kept keeping us thinking that the creator was a white man mm -hmm. sitting on a cloud with a beard. Mm -hmm. The Africans never saw the creator as a man mm -hmm. that came from greek anthropomorphism mm -hmm. the the african always knew that the creator was a source of energy mm -hmm. that gave life mm -hmm. no form mm -hmm. and you did not go on your knees to worship the creator mm -hmm. you harmonized with that energy mm -hmm. through principles and moralities and that energy worked through you mm -hmm. or you disconnected from that life-giving energy and then the opposing destructive energy took over your being mm -hmm. but it wasn't something you went to church and you prayed to God. You lived mm -hmm. and that energy became a part of you mm -hmm. because that energy is the source mm -hmm. of life. It's the source of wholeness and oneness, but it is the source. It is not a white man with a beard mm -hmm. on a cloud somewhere. That's why they told our fathers, do not make graven images mm -hmm. because you will damage the mind of how to reconnect to that energy. You will damage the mind mm -hmm. of how to reconnect to that energy. Mm -hmm. This is a source mm -hmm. of right life-giving energy called the creative source. Call it God. Call it what you may. But this is the one source that connects everyone. Mm -hmm. And it's not sitting in a cloud. It's in everything that gives life. But it's also a source that is of its own. Uh, may I tell you a word, Son Paul, Dr. Ato, Yahushua Fab, just before you see the brethren, one more time the details for this Sunday where um, the part two meeting is going, please, Yahushua Fab, any contact details you need to give out, please? The, part, the event, No True Reparations Without Repatriation, part two, the fifth annual Benami lecture takes place at the Caribou Education Center, 7 Gresham Road, SW9 Brixton, London, this Sunday, the 1st of May, from 2 p.m. to 5. It may stretch over to 6. We have three very great panelists. Mm -hmm. Crown brother Benaya, who was the keynote speaker last time. Sister Esther Ronia, Whoa. Stanford Jose, Powerful. and brother Karim. Mm -hmm. Jamal, who also is the director of the program, Africology. All right. This particular time, there would be workshops. <laughs> Three workshops to discuss the issues. You can get a ticket. The tickets are five pounds. Or you can get it on Eventbrite. There are tickets available there. But this is not the end of the conversation. Mm -hmm. This is the beginning of the conversation. Mm -hmm. And this is part of the great conversation of repairing our being and our history and our destiny. Again, for those who are listening... I am not naive about the finances. But while we are fighting on that front, we still have to prepare our mind and reach that great potential of who we are as a people. Thank you very much for inviting me to your program. I'd like to thank Galaxy Radio, the management, for helping to promote this. I hope for those who can come to see you there. But this is a serious discussion because it's our future. Though not even our children. It's our future that is at stake. And if we, the parents, don't secure a great future and the legacy of it, what we'll be handing down to our children would be a struggle for them to be able to make it. Thank you very much, and peace and blessings to all those who took time out of their schedule to listen to this interview. 
Give thanks and praises, give thanks and praises. Yes, honorable, honorable, honorable guests. So this is we give thanks. Yes, Dr. Tour, yes, Yahusha Fat Ben Israel, yes. And you got the details for check out. You see me, I say, be a part. Yes, know what part you have to play because you see me, I say, enough things are going on and people must, there's no reason for people to be disorganized and not to be a part of something in these times. You see me, I say, don't wait till the story get to bump, you know, because like God said, enough now know themselves in the box against the wall. You see, and right now, them platform is about making sure the people have accessibility to it allies them to the scholars them to the knowledge the wisdom the world are standing you see my so there's no excuse so we have the information the education to emancipate ourselves from mental station i am because we are because we are i am this is the galaxy the only deep brainwashing station in the universe watch it <laughs> Scattered our songs to the corners of the earth to Teach us some more about humility Oh, can't we see We denied ourselves our blessings In this time we learned our lessons That we should serve the Almighty The girl man kwaki Taka wal mwatayi Ni wataka ni jete Oh, we are telling you the time around. We're seven minutes or so before the hour at eight o'clock. Once you're back on screen, a couple of the female selection, a couple of the sisters, them selection, a couple of the empresses, them selection, enough music will come by the post all time. I say big up girl to Sister Caroline every time. Yes, we want to say maximum respect, Sister Caroline. Real Talk Production, Sister Diana. All female regular band world type of Sister Diana and Sister Caroline. They have their own production, the Real Talk Production UK. Watch out for the enough things coming up on that production. There, so get an EP for my sense. We take a track off of track number two, track title In My Mind. A couple of sisters and selections enough more on top of the plenty over the next weeks or so. I've got touch up, touch up male and female. And more conversation, more reasoning, more food for thoughts. Sister Shardell Roden. Essence. Welcome to the Vibration Roots and Culture with yours truly, Coach Genesis.
Ah, uh, we see the next presenter there, President D. Day in the house. Remember the 24 7 big things going on on the big G. A full with that coming, a full with things, you know, full with business, and you know. all. Keep a thought in mind. Every Wednesday, 6 p.m. to 8 p.m., you catch me right on yes, upon the big G. Yes, Galaxy, for the first show this evening. Yes, about the mothership, and it's on and a place. Yeah. Beautiful vibrations going every time. Say big up to all the family. Yes, the Elder Zen, Elder Urkuti, yes, Elder Abu Ratatu. We'll make sure we supervise me, make sure everything around smooth and nice. Give thanks, Elder, every time. You're a cheater, yeah. You like to keep a secret, yeah. Old heart deceiver. Expose you when you're weak, yes. Thanks and praise every time I tell you. We give thanks to my guests for coming to the studio this evening. Right, Honorable Dr. Toya Wushef at Ben Israel. We give thanks for the listening audience and we give thanks for those locking point frequencies. So, may I say, like we say, maybe say 24 7 big things going on. Yes, so roll up and down Cyber World. Do see what's going on. Remember, say President Dean at the house. Yes, as we turn over the pilot. Remember, say that life is for learning and learning is for life. Don't be afraid to learn. So, may I say, and say the man, the woman, and the children. Remember, say, you know, the family, the foundation, the most secret institution is the family. Family. You see me, and we have to know how to do our prayers and, and, and respect the family. As concerning domestic violence and rape, all them other subjects that we're going to touch upon because we know it, 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 it ramping amongst the community too. You see me, I said, dealing with issues because right now, you know, the, the family is the foundation of nationhood. You see me, I said, the community, and they don't know so if the, if we have a, I'm a fa- happy family as a foundation, we're born to have a happy nation. I'm out of here until such time and again. Give thanks and praise. I tell to the mother and father of creation, the universe, for guiding nine nine, giving nine nine wisdom and giving wisdom yes to you know to go through the vibration and to minister to the people and until such time again give thanks rastafari be blessed sila hotep This is a call to action that we are sending out to our people, African people, uh, across Britain, across Europe, and in fact, across the world. We are calling on you to be part of this momentous African reparations march, which takes place on Emancipation Day, which is the 1st of August, 2016. We will be marching from Windrush Square in Brixton to the Houses of Parliament. And we are calling on you to gather in our numbers. We are calling on you to help mobilize different constituencies of our people, mobilize faith communities, to mobilize students, to mobilize families to come out, to mobilize educators, mobilize our our youth and community workers. Workers. If you are a first aider, if you are a nurse, if you are able to access you know, community transport so that we can help transport our elders, if you are somebody who has security training, if you are, you know, you can become a steward. We need people with SIA badges in particular so that we can secure our people on the march. No matter what your skill is, uh, we need your services on the day. We need your assistance on the day. Because we have got a challenge and that challenge that we have is to stop the manga That challenge that we have is to stop that Holocaust as it is impacting.